The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down 55. You get the NASDAQ off. Uh, no, the NASDAQ's flat. S&Ps are down 6. We have the gold contract up by $6 at 1179 we have silver up six cents at sixteen dollars and fifty-eight cents. Uh, oil markets off a uh, buck thirty-two at fifty-two dollars sixty-seven cents. You get the ten-year note up eleven ticks, one twenty-four twenty-four. Thirty-year bond up a full point, one fifty-two twenty-four. King dollar, king dollar just can't hold price. Uh, that's down sixty-nine ticks right now at one hundred two point one thirty-five. The euro is at one hundred five. The yen's trading at one sixteen. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. You get a highly volatile uh, currency market, that's for sure. Uh, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. Hit that banner. You can bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can see how these defined option contracts trade. And uh, you get shot sleeves on, and it's freezing down in Florida. It is. It's a little cool. Uh, the office isn't that bad right now, though. It's not. No, it's not. No. It's not. It's Thankfully. Not. And this is our, you know, the shame is, folks, the uh, the championship college game is here. And, For college football. Yep, yeah, tonight. And unfortunately, uh, it's still going to be cold, and then tomorrow it's going to be 75. Well, tonight's going to be okay, actually. They'll is be it? fine. Yeah, it's going to be like mid-60s, I think, in the middle of the day. We're, we're coming out of it right now. This weekend, where all the festivities was a little bit cool, but... Yeah. So right. be it. Wow. It's cool. It's probably warmer than wherever anybody came from. So they have yeah, to no. put things in perspective. Right, yeah. right. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And if we go over and we take a look at, uh, let's go into the Nadex platform. So I'll show you, like last night, what happens on this platform, folks, is that you can, uh, on Sunday night, the currencies open up. They open up at 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Yeah. And I happen to be bearish the dollar right now uh so that would mean i'm bullish the euro uh last night so the spread that i was looking at um this spread is from 1.0530 to 1.0780 um so you get a 250 tick spread uh now i put this on last night and this is this is one of these ones that i happen to like meaning that you're at the bottom of the box, sure. Um, you know, I had the, the risk, of course, was defined. And let's see, I get in at one five five six. Look, at it, it's almost right where where I, it was. It's actually, to be to be fair, it's actually exactly where it is because if you're buying it, you're buying that, it in the option. Yeah, so right. You're only loss here, and that's why you know when you're trading ten contracts and you show a loss of forty dollars. Right. You're talking about four dollars per contract. You're talking about the bid offer spread. That's right. It. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now the underlying might have been the slightly different spot when you did it last night though because we've had time like 40 no how many hours it's 10 o'clock yeah so from six o'clock we've had 16 hours of time that's elapsed you're paying for that i time. did i did pay for it so, i paid 10 additional ticks sure so so there won't be as many ticks still in it right right now right you know? so what that would mean folks is that 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 i paid a premium of an additional 10 ticks for those last hours you know right you know yeah, yeah for sure right right um, and, you know, it, what, what got intriguing here, I wasn't up in the middle of the night, but in the middle of the night, it, 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 was, doing, it was doing all right when I went to bed. You know, nothing heavy, $50, $60. Um, but you can see in the middle of the night, it really had a nice little run. So I'm trying to find where we are here. Um, I get in like at, uh, I believe I started doing here. the gold report about 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock, yeah? Yep. Oh, it must have been 6 yep, o'clock because right it just opened. Well, yeah, right. yeah right. right. So you got in at almost 7 o'clock, 6.52 right. p.m. Right. Um, and pulling it back, so you're right around here, yeah. And what were you looking at? That yeah. the spike higher? Exactly, right. No, you didn't see that. That's at three in the morning. Where no, were you I. What Did, I said just when you woke up, is that what you saying? Yeah, I that see. that it was doing fine. I'll show you what well, I'm. I'll okay, show you what yeah. I'm gunning for, right? So, 
when you when you see the setup here, let's just see. Just before you jump around, yeah. just because just I'm noticing it, right? So you got in over here, right? right? So what I was saying was that the 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 spreads priced in almost identical to where it was, right? Yes. But look where the market is, and look where the market is now. Right. You're bullish. Right. It's gone in your direction. Right. You haven't made any money, and right. actually you're in a losing position. But again, just a bit off for spread, no, and that's for because sure. for the money that you've made in like intrinsic value, call it, right. you've lost money in time decay. Right. Just to, so right. everyone follows along. And so let, let's let's show, let's show them what the risk versus the reward is too, because that that, that that comes into the aspect of. So you're buying them at five, fifty six. Yeah. Per contract. There you go. So you know your risk is what are you buying it above the floor? Yeah. So the floor is five thirty. Right. You're buying it at 556. You're 26 ticks above the 530. Right. There's your 26 risk, $250 box, all the way profit potential up to 10780, and there's your, there's your max profit. Right. Yeah. And and what I'm looking for. So now if if we go back to because when you're doing these, you, what you want, folks, is that you want to have at least a understanding of what you're gunning for. And what I'm gunning for, see, on the fifth. This was a nice sign of strength. You know, the euro went from a price point of 104 all the way up to the 106 mark, 608, right? You pulled all the way back. Now, what the difference is, is that I don't have volume on currencies, okay? okay. You know, so the bottom line, I'm looking at this and saying, okay, it wants to go. Because what you do have, though, and we'll be back, you do have volume on the dollar index, okay? And the dollar index looks like it wants to be an ABC structure down to me. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 59. NASDAQ is flat. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 52. You get the NASDAQ uh, up to S&Ps are uh, down five and a half. And on this, um, the currency trade, folks, so what happens uh, that these currency trade, this one here happens to expire at 3 p.m. So bottom line is that we'll see where this uh, thing shakes. Realistically, what, what tends to happen, oh, here, let, let me go back to the dollar again for a second, because, and someone just, actually, I should have known this, too, it, uh, gave me a good heads up that the, the euro contracts trade in the futures market like the dollar index, okay. meaning that you can get volume behind it. Okay. Um, if we go over to the dollar index uh, first, what you're going to see is that um, it looks to me like this is a small ABC structure on the way down. You know, we came down. Let me go there. So you had the test last Tuesday. We did 51,000 contracts versus 83. It failed on price and volume. Then you came off that test with big volume. You did 62,000 on the way down. We tested that area this morning, and it's going to end up with maybe with 16,000, maybe get 25,000 at the end of the day. That's, that could very well be a small ABC structure on the way down. If that's what we get, that thing's going to break inside the 100 area again, which, you know, would put some juice uh, inside uh, the euro. So um, I expect we're going to see some um, action out here. Yeah. The, uh, the metals market are hold, holding up pretty good. The, if we go, what's interesting out here this morning inside the equity market, let's go into the oil for a second. CLG7, CLG7. So Oil's coming down with some velocity today. today. Let's see. And we're inside the range again. So you're down at, at buck 35 right now, 224,000 contracts. If we go over to the XLE, I just saw that uh, ExxonMobil's getting hit pretty good. The XLE's coming down with some uh, juice here. You know, you broke, you're breaking a small swing point uh, with some volume, you're 2.8. That's 8.8. .8. That'll that'll do more than 8 million shares today. Um, Exxon Mobil is down a buck 45. Let's go see what Chevron is. Chevron uh, Chevron's got light volume. And as we, uh, so this week here, we got a full week this week. You got Martin Luther King Day Monday. And then we get the inauguration next Friday. Okay. So, and then what we also have is that we have uh, earnings that I think, it's next Monday that I think they really start kicking off. Oh, no, no, it's for lo longer than that. Yeah, I think it was the following week. Yeah. Um, let's take a look at some of the, well, here, Apple is in February, I think. January 31st. Google, 26. Yeah, so we have, we have a few weeks. Yeah, really, that's the, because what happens is we have Monday the 16th, Martin Luther King. Yeah. Friday's the 20th. Right. And then you get about a week after the inauguration, talking about 25th, 26th, Wednesday, Thursday, into really the next week, I think, was the one where it was the 31st, 1st of February, 2nd of February, that there's some big ones. And you know what's wild there is that that's going to be right into window dressing, too. Okay. So it's like, okay. Because if, you know, if we go over and we take a look at this Dow, folks, I mean, the Dow could only get, uh, what was it? It was 19,999.63. Yeah. yeah, 37 cents. <laughs> yeah. And, it, you know, I suspect it doesn't look to me like this thing's done yet, you know, because you, you're backing off, you get light volume, thus far on the back off. Uh, if we look at some of the higher volume uh, equities out here this morning, you get Apple uh, up a buck 25. Verizon's down 41 cents. JP Morgan's up 15. 
Procter & Gamble's down 56. Chevron is a big one. That's down a buck 64. DuPont is up 127. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the mover out here is uh, Insight. That's up 5.6%. NVIDIA's on the move again. That's up 3.4%. BioMarlin is up uh, 3.5. Taken away from his uh, Vodafone is down 2.4. Monster Beverage is off 1.9. Regeneron's down 1.6. The uh, if you happen to be in the uh, the metals market, folks, okay, uh, it's pretty amazing. When I was doing the gold report, right, how many ABC structures are confirmed ABC structures on the way up? And when you say confirmed, just break that down for. So confirmed means that you took out a B point. You took it out with volume, and what we maybe throw volume on some charts. Yeah, to... and, and what that means is that it means that the, the probability is higher that you're going to get a full one-to-one -one ABC structure on the way up. So sure. if, if we go, we take a look at Gold Corp, and then we put Gold Corp up. What you're going to see, right there. Okay. So you're going to see that, you know, we we come off the bottom of like twelve bucks. Yep. You get up to. $14.30, and we did the 10.2 million there. And then even the day before it, we did 12.6. We pull back and then go sideways and then break top side with 12.4. Okay. Um, now, there's a lot of these, man. I mean, yeah. and it's pretty amazing. Well, here, watch. I'll pull up the XAU and the HUI. Um, the XAU did the same deal. XAU, you know, you, you get a B point of 84.15, yeah, 15, with 56 million shares. You took that out with 57.9. Yeah. You know, so when you get this many of them, um, it's, a, it's a good indication that it wants higher price. And the, 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 the high volatility um, makes it a little more dicey, but most times when things just don't go real smooth, that's when they really want to go. Okay. Meaning, that, like this morning, okay? So this morning, you get gold up 480, we've been up as high as $6. The GDX uh, was up 50 cents, now it's only up 6 cents. The Nugget was up 54 cents, now it's only up 6 cents. And that's what I mean by that, oh no, no, it's not gonna happen, do you know what I mean? So, when you get moves that are, that are jerky like that, many times that this thing wants to go. Let's go back to the euro again for a second and see what's happening there. I need one more. I need a really good push to get up and over this uh, yeah. one five five six number. Okay. Because someone's selling right there, right? Yeah. And that's and that would be from. <clears throat> excuse me, folks. Eight o'clock in the morning. You can see that was a vicious bar right that's there. That's Friday you're talking about now, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah. And that must have been that must have been our jobs number, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, 8.30. Yeah, it was. So that's when the euro went from 1.0620 to 1.0571. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now up 56. NASDAQ, no, Dow down 56. NASDAQ up 6. S&P's down 5.5. We're going to break back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. 
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This this segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 57. You get the NASDAQ uh, up six. S&Ps are down uh, five. If we take a look at some of the volumes out here, let's see what we have. You have the SPY, 10 million shares. That's light. You get a sideways move. Uh, the Qs, you're up on four million. It's not that bad, actually. Uh, what you also had happen last week, and this is where divergence was, uh, the small caps folks were the only ones that couldn't hold price. And we get some volume actually on the small caps right now because you're going into 28 million. We've done five, and you're only the first hour into it. So we'll see whether uh, that baby is going to break that uh, lower swing point. Uh, and in, in fact, do we uh, get any volume behind the move today? Uh, if we go overseas and we take a look at the markets overseas last night, what you're going to see. Uh, the Nikkei was closed for a holiday. Hang Seng was up two tenths of a percent. Shanghai was up uh, five tenths. Taiwan was off uh, one tenth. And Europe out here today, you have uh, the FTSE up one tenth. The DAX is off a half a percent. And Paris is down uh, eight tenths of one percent. And they got, a, they got a lot of stuff happening uh, in Britain with the Brexit yeah. and what, what, uh, what their prime minister came out with today. And I don't know if this is new, uh, but she was saying, and I guess if I, I, what I understand now is that what a hard Brexit means. So a hard Brexit means that they're not only just going to get out of the European Union, they're going to... Uh, Let's see. There's there's another there's another union that they have, and and she was saying that okay, we're not going to do this halfway here. Okay, we'll right. have to look into it together. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. They're going to be dealing with a lot over there. Just yeah. So, you know what I mean? We'll pull up the details, but for sure, I mean this this should be expected as in turmoil. That's what we've been saying all along. You know, no matter what is coming. 
There's going to be some rough times for them navigating what they're doing. Right. Well, yeah, yeah and their spin now is, their spin this morning was that, hey, listen, uh, do you want to be regulated by the European Union? This is, this is so banks won't, won't leave the London. Okay, when you say their spin, are you talking about the prime minister? This yeah, is, the okay. prime minister. And, and the Theresa May. The Theresa talking? May and then her, you okay. know, cohort. Okay. So, uh, the, they, they were on Bloomberg. One of them was on Bloomberg this morning. He was talking about that. Do you want to be regulated by the European Union, or do you want to be regulated by Britain? You know, because okay. he he was saying they were asking him, uh, do they do they think the banks would move to um, France or Other Italy? EU. And yeah, and he says no. He says if anything, the banks would go from London to New York. That's that's okay. what that was his take on it. So it's a very biased take, though, right? Oh yeah, no, that's absolutely. Right. No, no, I, I yeah, know you're saying right. that. Right? No, there's no there's no doubt. Right. There's no there's no doubt about whenever that. Whenever I hear one side of the team, whatever you're looking at, our stuff too, you know, and they right. say, well, this is what should happen, right? So right. That's what they want to happen, really. No, no you know, doubt. It's like, so, yeah, that's, yeah, that's that's the move. Yeah. That's the move. Of course they want banks to say, so he's just representing a case. Whether that case is actually valid, we'll see what the banks do. Right. Because I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of downfall, actually, right now, if you stay in Britain and they exit the EU, that he's not highlighting in that same, you know, that's all. Yeah, because I get, what, what, what happens is that the they, they call it the passport, the free passport. And that is not the passport like you and I have to go in and out of countries. The passport there is that the regulation aspect, if you're in London, you just, like if, you're, if, if I'm a banker in London right. and you're in, in France right now. You can do easy business. Right, right. Yeah. but if I don't have that, I can't just go over to you and say I want to no. raise money for you and. Because it would just be pick any other country in the world that's not a part of the EU. Right. And you know, you'd go, right. of course not. Well, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> right. No, no, totally. It's, yeah. it's going gonna, it's gonna to be wild watching this thing shake out. Yeah. Uh, if we go over to the, um, you know, if we stay with the banks for a second, bottom line, these banks don't want to back off. You know, you have uh, the, we have the XLF trading um, sideways or 2343. Yeah. Uh, if we go to JP Morgan, we take a look at JP Morgan. Yeah, J.P. Morgan's up 19 cents. It's hanging at the highs. Uh, Bank of America down 12 cents. How about some of the oil? Uh, take a look at oil. Can yeah, to, that's quite a pullback. No, it is. CL. Uh, Jump to the commodities. Why not? Let's make sure. Yep. Yeah. Make sure we're on that right contract. So we get. Uh, crude's well. Look at that. It sounds yeah. It's two two and a half percent. That's a big move. Yeah, dollar thirty seven down two and a half. And for how cold this is, it's a mind blow. Look at natural gas. This is a total mind blow, folks. That natural gas is down four point three percent, and it's freezing out. <laughs> That's yeah. There's a lot of natural gas, I guess. Yeah. Thirty five thousand contracts. Um, This is this is going to line up though at uh, like 302 for a decent buy. That's what it looks like. The range in natural gas, the last range here, folks, was 276. You know, really a 370. Yeah. It spiked like to 380. 280 to 380 is yeah. where it just ran. But yeah, that's a big number, man. That's a that is a big number. When you're trading at two dollars and eighty cents, and you know, before you know it, you're trading at three dollars and eighty cents. That's ten thousand dollars. Okay. Isn't that for crazy? Features, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's like insane. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like a 40%. What is it? No, 30, 30%. I mean, it's just percentage wise, it's huge. It's so huge. It is. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at this contract again, you're going to see that. So the, the contract itself is moving low with volume. The, um, the equities also are too. They're, they're moving. Exxon Mobil's down. Uh, that's the largest weighting inside uh, you know, the XLE. That's, that's moving, and that's moving with some juice. Uh, and what, you all, what we're also going to have, I believe that. Uh, I don't think this has anything to do with them moving lower. I think it's oil, but Rex Tillerson is going to be... They have confirmation hearings? Yeah, the, tomorrow or the next day. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a big week for, for um, some of the cabinet members going in front of the, the committees, not necessarily voting, but going on in front of the committees right. for their hearings. Right, yeah. right. 877-927-6648. Um, we go over and we take a look at that 30-year uh, bond, folks. What happens in the 30-year right now, yeah, that's still building cars for higher price. You've done 94,000 contracts. You're sitting at uh, 152.21. This is really going to be a wild card, too, on, the, on these, these rates. For you know? sure. 
I mean, everything's a wild card. Yeah, in my opinion, it almost is. Well, the thing that the thing that that is a disconnect in my own head. So technically, right now, the way that I'm looking at the bond market is that the 30-year bond did not break a major swing. Okay. Last time it broke a major swing was in 1999. Okay. We've had three vicious retracements since then. Every time that, okay, though, this is it. Bond, prices are going up. Do you know sure. what I mean? And listen, I five years ago, I thought that rates had to go up. I was like, okay, what yeah. are you talking about? That being said, the, technically, right now, the bonds and notes held the low. They look to me like they want to go higher price. And we get, when we come back, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we want to hear from you folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 51. NASDAQ is up three. S&P's are down five. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 49. You get the NASDAQ up 6. S&Ps are down 5. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right on the front page, uh, man, Mr. Basil Chapman, of course, he's going to be coming up next from 11 to 12. But uh, tomorrow night, he's going to be doing uh, the third portion of his workshop. He sure is. Simple technical tools to analyze charts. Uh, Basil put together an awesome three-night course, an hour and a half. 
He's completed the first two. The moment you sign up, though, you gain instant access to those. And, yeah, he's completing the workshop tomorrow night for an hour and a half, and you can still sign up. You gain archives for it, I think. Um, yeah, archives of each lesson you'll get for two months. Okay. So, you know, with four yeah. and a half hours of education, you'll probably end up wanting to watch at least one of them a couple times, whether it's the first introductory, the second one kind of breaking down the bear chart, and the third one just larger time frames, some exercises, peak F tops, and you get, you know, if you're not a subscriber, you gain, in, you gain um, access to the Chapman Wave. His, his daily trading newsletter every um, for at least a month. And if you are a subscriber, you can save $100 off. So that's tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, right after Mr. Andy Hecht. And, uh, yeah, encourage people to check it out. There's still time. They can get in there. They can watch at least the first one, maybe even the second one tonight, get ready for tomorrow's workshop. They're rocking and rolling with Mr. Basil Chapman tomorrow night. Pretty amazing. Totally. January 9th. Wow. Watch out. We are at January 9th, that's man. That's crazy. right. Uh, if we go over, I just uh, I, I caught a little bit on the euro here. Okay. So uh, if you haven't, uh, you know the the last uh, few minutes, I suspect uh, we we got it over the five five six mark. We're at which, five five four right now. Which, One, interestingly enough, is the exact point that you happen to get in. But go ahead. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Right. That's your break right. even. That's my break even. So now I gotta see. We gotta build some cars to get up to this <laughs> six one five mark, cause that's my that's where we're gunning for. So if we go back over and you take a look at this, let's see where. Yep, let's jump that. There, there we go. go. Um, yeah, I'm flat. I'm flat yeah. right now. Yep. Now it makes sense. It's somewhat oscillating, kind of right around that point. You got right. till three o'clock. It's going the right way, at least. Yeah, and you got limited risk to the downside with, you know, if you happen to get a, a nice run to the upside. That would be nice for sure. 105.30 right here is yes. going to be your floor. So anywhere above here, you have value, right? Right. You get $10 kind of up to here, 20 and here's like your 26 and that's why $26 per contract you're in it. Right. Yeah. And folks, you know, when we talk the $26 per contract, um, what you really want to understand in case you, you, you haven't listened to us or you're just joining us, the, that's a great risk reward, but the problem is when I do these is that when Tommy was just showing that uh, the bottom of that box, if it's one tick under the bottom of that box, I lose everything. Sure. Yeah, so sure. that's why you, you yeah. get a larger and, risk reward. Sure, and even if it's one tick above that, you lose everything make, but a dollar. Yeah, exactly. Right, 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 right. For sure. You know, for sure. Because if you just join it, sometimes it looks like, oh, this is great. Well, yeah. they're there. And yeah, no, no, you can keep going. I was just going to say, and realistically too, to to put things back into perspective again, um, you got into this position around here. Yes. The market has appreciated considerably. Right. And you're at break even. Right. So that that's a better illustration, I think, as to why you you have such a great risk reward because actually, the market when you got into it was actually right at no intrinsic value. So I think you're paying all premium. So it was about 26 ticks in premium, it looks like, um, over where it was trading at. I got it. Okay, cool. It? Yes, I do. Yeah. I so, do. so the problem there is that, not problem, but the risk yeah. is that if it doesn't move in either direction, right. you almost lose 260 down everything. the tubes, exactly. $26, $26 a contract. contract, right. There you go. Yeah. But yeah. that's why they give you risking one to make a potential nine, right. essentially, right. or eight. Yeah. And, I w and in this case, I wasn't going for the 750. I am going, though. I think it was the eight. For the, What's the top of that box? Was it 850? I think it's 750. Let's see. Let's, where are we? Seven eighty. Okay. Seven eighty. So, but I am going for yeah six hundred. Okay. Yeah. So that's another. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So no. yeah. if it gets there quick, it'll be even better because time is time is yes. ticking away on you. Right. Right. And 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 what I believe you mean by that that then there'd be a little they'll, they'll you're losing time no matter you know you're paying for time right now. Really, you know right. what I mean? There's there's time being pulled out of that every single second right yep. now, and you know just to like so for instance, when you got in over here, you that was seven o'clock last night. Let's yes. call it. We're now fifteen, sixteen hours later, and meanwhile the bid and the offer are almost identical to where they were. Right. And the underlying indicative euro U.S. dollar has appreciated almost twenty six ticks. Right. So. 
while the value of that's appreciated, that all that's come out in time value, you know? Right. So that's realistically, it's, it's, it's now almost to the point where it's almost assigning a realistic value that there's enough risk to the downside going, because you have risk all the way down to 105.30. Yeah. That it's assigning kind of a reasonable risk. Like you say, these get a lot of movement overnight. They get a lot of movement in the morning. Well, so the market's saying that there doesn't need to be, even though you have, like, let's say, you know, if you just wanted to buy this right where it is right now. Yes. Right? You want to initiate a new trade. Pretty close to where you set it up, right? Right. And the reason why is because there's not a lot of time value anymore that you have to pay for this because you only have four hours until expiration right. as opposed to 20 hours. And realistically, the market's telling you that in reality, there's enough risk to the downside. There is. That, that realistically, you're not going to get much more than maybe 30, 40 pips, ticks, whatever you call it, to the upside. To the upside. So you don't need to pay an inordinate amount because... You know, risking 33 to make 217, the risk of that 217 ever coming through, the market saying, is so little that it's not making you pay for that right. Well, you know, it's intriguing here, right? Looking at this right now, so picture this, folks. I put this trade on last night. Looking at this right now, I, I wouldn't put this trade on right now. So I'm saying to myself, wow, <laughs> you know, this gets interesting in my own head. Sure. And the reason being is that this can go down as quick as it can. So it's like, okay, okay last night that was nice because I had all that time and it didn't come sure. out to fruition. Sure. You know, so even in that aspect, you know, we'll, we'll see how I want to shake that out. Because if, yeah. I, if I wouldn't put it on right now, it's like, okay, well, should I should just close it out? You know what I mean? I was going to ask you. I don't, yeah. know how, I don't know how you don't, right? Right. No, I know. It, it, the only thing that you're going to be paying is know? the difference in the spread. So yeah. that, that would literally be in and, and right commission. And commission. I, just it, put, but that's the only reason why if you shouldn't be initiating right. a position that maybe you should close it. And that's, yeah. you know, because, you know, you, if you're initiating it, you're getting it at 105.62 right now. Right. Whereas if you're selling it out, you're getting out at 105.58. You're paying a commission as well. So Pretty well. That's the only difference. It is. Yeah. 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 So... As the day goes on, this is this is something that you know. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Have, I'm gonna have to deal with this in the next uh, half hour. I yeah. think. Yeah. Isn't that crazy though? That's that's pretty. <laughs> well, it's 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 pretty I don't cool perceive it as crazy. Because I because don't. because I perceive it as the the name of the game. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I, I'm with you. Uh, you yeah. know, it's it just that what what does happen on the exact same trade. You know, as this changes. You know, I had the shot all night long, um, and yeah. you know it. it it went down to nothing. I mean, not nothing, but it went way under the, yeah, it went yeah, to no, five, sure. 516. It got above it. Um, yeah. You know, so you have all these you different... You should always be evaluating that, right? Yeah. Every minute. No, totally. For sure. Totally. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. And, of course, uh, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. Uh, then we're going to swim lessons um, in Chicago. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, uh, Andy Heck. Stay right there, folks. Dow is down 40. Nasdaq is... Up seven, s and down four. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. 
With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 31. Nasdaq's up 10. S&P's are down 2.5. And, and, folks, keep an eye on this Nasdaq. So check this out, Tom. I just pulled up the volume on the Nasdaq. Uh, it's already at $597 million. That's a big number, man. Okay. Uh, that is, you're talking about an hour and a half into it. You don't see that too much. So something, let me see if the Qs, if the volume came in the Qs, something... No, we pulled up the first time. It was five point eight million. It's a uh, six point three now. So it's not in the queues, but that's a heads up, folks. Um, and if we do go over and we take a look at the composite itself, let's see, CCMP. You know, you're at highs. Well, no, you're not at highs yet. It's getting the high on Friday was uh, fifty five thirty six. You made fifty five thirty two. Looks like it's going to go after it again. But that's. Uh, We'll, we'll see where that uh, shakes out. I suspect the, that high is going to get at least tested out here. Um, uh, the Dow, the Dow right now, that's rejecting lower price. And the, the difference here is that the Dow, you know, that's light volume, 192 million. So that's, that's we, we'll figure out whether it's going to be light or not. But that's, that's certainly not okay. big volume. Okay. Where the, the composite, you don't see... You don't see 500 million, 600 million sure. show up when we're on the air. Yeah. You know, so yeah. um, now the, the key always is that, okay, is that buying, is that selling? Uh, the way that I always look at it, if you, if you get to higher prices, though, bottom line is that that's a higher high with volume. Sure. You know, so yeah. the uh, gold contract out here. Uh, so gold, GCG7, gold, gold is hanging tough. Uh, yeah, you got 111,000 contracts. That's good contract vo volume for the time of day that we're at right now. Um, let's go to our man, Duncan Steve. Hey, Steve, what's going on? Hey, Happy New Year, you guys. Happy New Year, man. Hey, How you doing? Very good, sir. Thank you. Good. You and as well, both. Yeah, hey, uh, I was wondering about uh, SWIR. You know, I forget the name of the company. I just Sierra Wireless. <laughs> yeah, so let's that's take... It, that's you got Sierra that's Wireless. Internet of, internet of Things company, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look. So it's trying to fill a gap. Okay, so... I was wondering long-term, you know, over the next year, maybe, if you're going anywhere. Yeah, I'd let it test the lows, like, or at least test, like, you know, 1450 a few more times. I mean, because this thing, right. when, when, something gets, when something gets destroyed this, this bad, you know, like... It needs a couple of years to base out. Now, this has been basing out since November of 2015. Right. And I can see the strength. You know, you had, you had strength in May, but then, you know, it came back too hard in August. Um, you had another small sign of strength in November. I'd let it pull back, Steve. I, I'd, the, yeah. the ultimate would be if it tested that 1350 again and rejected it with lighter volume on a weekly. Yeah, so it really kind of hibernated for the winter here, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to say it that way, yeah. 
Hey, that's great, guys. Uh, thank you very much. And again, uh, Happy New Year to you. Keep up the great work. Everybody out there appreciates us very much. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us, man. Yeah, you bet. So you you're staying bet. warm up there? What, what's, what's it like? No, what's... It, was, it was one degree this morning. And anything under 30, folks, in New Hampshire, yeah. Massachusetts, is freezing because it's a different, it's a cold, it's a different kind of cold. Yeah, right. it's like, it that goes right through you. Too. That yeah. was in Nashua. One degree. One, yeah. Stay wow. bundled so up, man. Up, it's about 12 now. 12. Hey, you're all set, man. Get the shots on. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I got a T-shirt on right now. I bet, I bet you do. <laughs> I, I bet you do, too. Yeah. I love it. All right, well, Okay, we'll have a great one, man. Have a safe you one. Too. You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Of course, then we're going to Think or Swim headquarters. Uh, Dow right now is down 28. NASDAQ's up 10. S&P's are up 2.5. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking to you this afternoon. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.